This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back with Kyle and Ron Grusenmeyer as they talk about how dairy checkoff dollars are used. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer. I have the opportunity to visit with Ron Grusenmeyer. He's with Midwest Dairy. Uh, Ron, I'm going to let you explain how Midwest Dairy is involved in the dairy industry. Sure, we're the checkoff organization within uh, the dairy industry. And so the dairy farmer has 15 cents per hundredweight taken off his, uh, his check. Five cents of that goes towards a national program, and then 10 cents comes back to a, a qualified state or regional, and that's where the boots on the ground, that's what we do within Midwest Area Association. So the checkoff money then, uh, how does it, how's it determined how that's going to be spent? Well, we have a, a, a dairy farmer board that oversees the organization, and then we have division boards within uh, local boards that also oversee the programming that happens within our state. Um, and uh, so they provide input and feedback to us on the effectiveness of those programs. What sort of emphasis, areas of emphasis, uh, does your industry have right now? The area of, inter uh, of, of interest we have or influence we have is really a lot with consumer confidence. Uh, be it that in the schools, we have a very strong presence in the schools. Our Fuel to Play 60 program um, in our schools is one of the premier programs within schools. We're able to educate students on not only healthy dairy products and how that's good for a well-balanced diet, but also be active for 60 minutes a day and getting that physical activity. Uh, and then uh, expanding that to uh, health professionals, dietitians, dietetic interns, the health professionals, uh, we work with them. Uh, we also work also in consumer confidence with our partners like uh, the hy uh, of the world um, and, and the processors of the world, helping them with, with implementing dairy, uh, dairy research and how it affects their business and more importantly, how it affects consumers. In I believe demand for dairy products in the United States is continuing up. Total demand for, for dairy products is going up, and, and a big uh, carrier of that is cheese. Uh, so you're saying fluid isn't necessary, necessarily up? Fluid is, is going through kind of a metamorphosis. It's been going trending down primarily because of some of the cultural uh, changes that we've had within society. There's less people eating at home and pouring milk into those cups around the around the dinner table. They're going out to eat. So we're trying to figure out ways that we can get more fluid milk in where the, where the consumers are wanting to consume that. It's my impression there's not many people doubt the nutritional value of milk. No, no. Uh, it's uh, well accepted. Um, the, 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 the nutritional value of, of milk is, is commonly... Uh, it's it's a good source of protein, a good, a, an excellent source of calcium. Uh, so we we try to promote that with with what we call our influencers, the dietitians of, of the world, and encourage them to encourage their clients to incorporate dairy and dairy products in their in their um, with their clients. We're visiting with Ron Grusenmeyer. He is with Midwest Dairy. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Kyle. Folks, be sure and stay tuned for our Kansas Farm Bureau update. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com.